Jordan Poyer. Similar to Jeffrey Simmons. No, not Jeffrey Simmons. Uh, Justin Simmons. You know, it's a face that uh, you remember. And I feel like it's got something to do with the color of the eyes. You know what I mean? When you've got a darker complexion and you have light eyes, it really is. It's it's uh, it's almost like you go into a trance. Anyway, we move on. Uh, Jordan Poyer, number 57 on the list of the top 100 NFL players of 2023. Safety for the Bills. Been through his fair share of trials and tribulations to get to this point. We will cover that once again. I think we did it last year, but um, you know it's a story that's worth telling. What we're going to do is we're going to have a look at his stats, watch the video, and place him in a rugby team. Let's get into it. Jordan Poyer, born April 25th, 1991. 32 years of age, 6 foot, 191 pounds. So there's not a huge amount to him, but uh, you know he's going to be he's going to be motoring around in that backfield just eyeing opportunities to target, seek, and destroy. Went to Oregon State from 2009 to 2012. Got picked up in the 7th round of the 2013 draft with pick number 218. To the Eagles. Then got traded to the Browns. Played at the Browns from 13 to 16. Then went to the Bills from 2017 to present. Got clocked at the 2013 NFL Combine. At a 4.54 for the 40 yard dash, 30 and a half inches for the vertical, 9 foot 10 on the broad jump, and 8 reps on the bench. And those stats, guys, are, you know, underwhelming as far as what we've seen thus far and as far as what we're used to. But I mean, they're, they're still solid numbers, you know what I mean? He's an athlete. He's an athlete nonetheless. They're good enough. You know, when you've got a three cone drill of under seven seconds, a 20 yard shuttle of, you know, near on four seconds, 4.54 is certainly fast enough. So he's opened up about his struggles with alcohol with a post on Instagram in March 2021, especially after a bitter loss in the playoffs the year before. He has stayed sober since March 2020 after realizing the effects that his continued drinking would inflict on his family, career and health. And since then, he's devoted his time off of the field to work with others struggling with alcoholism. And that hits home with me, man. It truly does, because I've had my struggles with alcoholism. I have. Basically, ever since that point, ever since the end of 2020, I've I've had a, I've had my on and off struggles with with alcohol, and so that hits you know that that yeah that means a lot to me personally. And to think that geez, to think that he he kept up his drinking for seven years, seven years of his of his professional football career, and and then finally, at age 29, possibly looking at you know only a couple more years in the league, maybe three three or four. He's probably thinking, fuck man, I've got I've got three or four more. Three or four more years to cement my legacy in this game and as a human whilst my name is is in the spotlight so i'm going to do it to the best of my ability and for that to happen you got to cut out alcohol you have to if you're a professional athlete bro you got to turn up and yeah you might turn up but you're not going to turn up at your best you're just not either way let's get into the video be a part of this top 100 list uh if you would ask me 10 years ago if i would ever be on a list of you know top 100 players in the nfl you know, I'd have, I'd have said, yeah, it's a dream just to be on a list. The same. We came in at number 200 and something. This guy wasn't supposed to make the cut. He's been in the league for 10 years. Same list with guys like Brady, Mahomes, Allen, Diggs. And just to be on that same list is, you know, it's awesome. Post somebody you want on your team. He's going to bring the energy Monday through Sunday. Hey, I love y'all boys, man. I ain't going to ride for nobody, but it's group right here. Let's go win. He's always locked in, especially coming around. Game. Yeah, I can only imagine he'd be a great team. Let's go. Let's go. This is what we live for. I mean, real vocal. I think that just speaks of his passion and just how intense, you know, he approaches the game. This one is intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Boyer. Did we have a look at his stats from last year? I don't know that we did because they're not there. Oh well, I guess on this occasion we're going to have to rely on the uh, narrator. Whip, break zone. Whip, break zone. What? Picked up by Jordan Boyer. Whip, break zone. Whip, break zone. Where the fucking breaks on? Where the breaks on? We got to break something. We're going to break someone's son? All pro po. 
Despite missing four games in 2022, Jordan Poyer led the Bills in interceptions, including two against the Ravens. Okay, well he kind of got six, because Justin Simmons led the league with six, so I'm assuming he's probably going to have gotten five. Picked off in the end zone by the Bills veteran safety. He has like that real dog savage mentality, and I, I know a lot of players say that, and everyone likes to think that himself, but like, he really has that in him. Okay. That is iconic, right? The Buffalo Bills playing in snow. It's absolutely iconic. The way that the blue, the way that the blue, you know, just contrasts with the white. You got the white of the helmet. It's just amazing. For a guy who isn't big in stature, he brings the lows. I mean, he brings the bats. He loves the hit. He loves the contact. Poe's not scared of contact. You know, he, That's he wants a tackle all the for contact, loss. whether it's with the running back, with the receiver, with whoever. He's a heart and soul, I feel like, of the Bills' defense. Hey, we gotta go, D! We gotta go! I saw one, one play last year. Um, QB got out of the pocket and he ran across the field and got a pick, but they said his two feet were down. I, I thought for sure his two feet were down. He does everything right. He's also right about being in the right place at the right time. Yeah, I saw the camera just kind of, the, the mic hanging over. We were waiting, the kickoff was going, so we were waiting to come out. This is the man. Hey, said Eric, man, what's up? But y'all gotta get me on there more. We had the little thing, uh, the camera was right there on my face, so I said, hey, all right, I'm going to get y'all something right here for NFL Films. The next series, I'm going to go out there and get, get y'all a pick. I'm going to go make a play for y'all right here. <laughs> Goosebumps, guys. I'm going to tell you. I'm yes, right boy. <sighs> well, it went through three sets of Buffalo Bills' hands, but still. You gotta believe, man. Let's see. You gotta back yourself, bro. You gotta back yourself. It was a crazy play, too. Tannehill tried to throw it over to Robert Woods, and Woods kind of tipped it. Mike had tipped it, and I was just right there. That pass was tipped at least twice into the arms of Jordan Poyer playing the deep safety spot. And then I came back to the sideline, and yes, I saw him running over there, and I told him, I said, I told you. That was pretty dope. That was actually pretty dope. I'm glad he caught it all on camera, though. That was pretty dope. Bro, that that is dope. And all you need to know to realize how fucking dope that was is, uh, is just realize the chances of actually getting an interception are so low, let alone when you call it beforehand. I mean, that yeah, that's next level. That's sick. He deserves it. He's a good cunt. I like him. I think his teammates like him. I feel like the Bills like him. I feel like... He's still got a lot of football left to give. And with that in mind, let's place Jordan Poyer on a rugby team. Plays safety, not afraid of, uh, of contact. He's got decent hands. Six foot, 191 pounds. The easy option would be to put him at, at wing. Being that he is a safety, being that he's got experience with cleaning up the mess at the back of the field, being that he, he's not afraid to tackle, you've got confidence in him on those one-on-one -on -one tackles, getting the job done. I'm gonna put him in at fullback. I'm gonna place him at fullback. I feel like he'd really flourish with the ball in hand. At the end of the day, being the last line of defense, being that sweeper coming across and cleaning up the mess. I feel like that'd be easy for him. He's got enough speed. Uh, he's got enough size. He's not He's not gonna be undersized in that position at all. And so I'd place Jordan Poyer in at number 15 on the rugby field, fullback. One of the most exciting positions to play i mean if you imagine taking a clean interception as safety looking up and running the ball back for a pick six you've got that opportunity time and time and time again on the rugby field playing fullback so i'd love nothing more than to see him play fullback it's not going to happen it's n never going to happen the transition from american football to rugby is one that is extremely rare but it's one of the most exciting prospects ever you know what i mean to see American footballers come across to rugby and see what they can do. Um, I'd love nothing more than to see that one day. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.